Hi, Wrightsville kids. I'm Pastor Julia, and today I want to tell you a story. Once upon a time, there was a young knight. The knight was so inspired to join an order of knights because he knew that knights were the people who helped others. You see, the knight's kingdom had two big problems. They had dangerous dragons and they had pirate invaders. So he decided he was going to be a helper and become a knight. Well, one day when he was out doing his knightly duties, he heard a loud, scary noise. Woo! It was a dragon. And the dragon got to him and the dragon took away his shield and his armor and he hurt him and then flew away and left him all alone. Well, the knight was so scared and so hurt. But then just around the bend, he saw another knight coming. And he was so relieved because he said, a knight, a knight will help me. But this knight said, what's that guy doing there? Doesn't he know that dragons happen around here? I'm not gonna help him, he'll just get in trouble again. And he walked on away. And then around the bend came another knight. And this knight came and, and he saw the one who was hurt, but this one said, oh no, that knight needs hurt, but I'm on my way to a very important knight conference and I don't have time to stop. Someone else will. And he kept going. Well, the knight who was hurt was so upset. Who would ever be there to help him if two good knights didn't help him? Then, just around the corner, he saw a pirate coming. A mean, scary, gruff pirate. And the knight was so afraid because he was sure that this pirate was here to hurt him and make it even worse. And when the pirate saw the knight, he hopped off of his horse and came over. And he helped to pick up the knight. And he got the knight onto his own horse. And then the pirate, that mean, scary pirate, took care of the knight. He took him on his horse to somewhere where they could get medicine and help and even some new armor. That's a pretty crazy story, isn't it? The pirate helped when even the knight's own friends didn't. You know, this is really a lot like a story that Jesus told his disciples. Some of Jesus' friends wanted to know, who are we supposed to love? And Jesus told basically this story to say that we're supposed to love everyone. We know who are our people by who it is that helps us and who we help. So today, I want you to remember that God wants us to help and love everyone, even if they aren't the people that we might expect. Let's pray. Jesus, thank you for teaching us. We love you. Thank you for loving people who are surprising. In Jesus' name, amen.